are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Hey, I found something we could talk about here for the uh, sports channel. Rasheed Rice, man. You heard the latest news on him, right? About, he's taking about he's taking full responsibility. Charges? He's oh, taking yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's taking full yeah. responsibility now. Right. He's supposed to foot the bill for all anybody that was injured and all that sort of thing. Does he really want to foot that foot that bill? I think it was what four people that got injured. <laughs> D- does he realize how much money those people could be wanting? Oh, he's in a, a civil liability hell officially. Yes, yes. Yeah. In addition to criminal charges, dude left the scene of an accident. You can't do that. I, I, I was ca- thinking I that he, out. I called out Roger Goodell in that video that never made it up for going light on these NFL players when well, something like this happens. I'm thinking this is probably what's going to happen. I'm thinking that uh, probably the NFL Goodell is probably going to suspend him for like 12 games. And then it's going to get appealed down to probably six to eight games. I mean, what he did was he probably left the scene six, of an accident yeah. in his yeah. own video, man. Well, I'm going to tell you how bad it looks for the NFL. The morning that happened, his name was trending along with Henry Ruggs. <laughs> Yeah. See, I thought it was something really, really bad. Now, what Henry Ruggs did seemed to be even worse, but maybe, oh, worse, maybe, yeah. just maybe, maybe um, Rasheed Rice is thinking Henry Ruggs, he could have been intoxicated. Then he just said, oh, the hell with this. I'm running. Well, okay. Detox, and then he contacts the police. <laughs> There's an absolute theory going around out there that he called his lawyer it could be spe- this is speculation wild speculation but somebody yeah. told him you don't say anything and lay low until everything is out of your system everything yeah. cuz you notice it was like 2 days later yeah when now there was other people around if one of them rats him out uh oh say we, we were we were drinking uh, now I highly doubt they found any um, booze or whatever in the cars i think we would have found that Found out I think we'd have now. heard about that, I would guess. Yeah. But why would you actually leave when you own the Corvette, the Lamborghini was in your name, you lease? All I can think of is there may have been some substance or something involved that we are missing on this. Yeah. You know, because otherwise, okay. Now, I will say this. Supposedly... The NFL is is supposed to be very hard on street racing. That that's something that they, I guess, in their rule book somewhere with discipline, that's like a trigger subject or of some kind. But we won't know. I don't. They haven't busted anybody for street racing because Henry Ruggs wasn't street racing. He was just doing a hundred and fifty miles an hour yeah. drunk as hell when he yeah. slammed in and killed Tina Tenter and her dog. You know. So you mean it's to tell me bad. it's a bad look? I mean, you did this two years after a first round pick is started serving a prison sentence. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, look what the NFL deal did with on um, Deshaun Watson, six games at the end of the day. Well, six he ended games. up getting twelve. He, he had yeah, 12. but he got a he got appealed down. Remember? Well, no, he set out twelve games. He did. How many now, games? Did, yeah, no, they, they, how many? They initially gave him six. Goodell said no; it's a full season, and then it went to arbit arbiter, and they gave him twelve. Oh, okay, okay, I couldn't yeah. remember. But okay. still, it still looked weak by Goodell. Yeah. for not sticking by the one year you're gone a season, you know. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, Rasheed Rasheed Rice is a lawyer now. Is now attacking the media now. Because apparently, you know, it's the media's fault, not Rasheed Rice's fault, because he doesn't want people to judge Rasheed Rice based on this. 
I, I saw that. I, I saw. I heard him say something like that. Don't judge him from this. I'm waiting yeah. for him to go racial. I'm waiting for yeah. it. Well, think it is, man. Think it is. OJ Simpson. Everybody love OJ Simpson, right? Then that one night in June, 1994, people judged him by that, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Even and though he, even though he walked. OJ was an American treasure. He was beloved. Yeah. OJ was big, and me and you, we never saw him play, but we knew that OJ Simpson was big time, big time. He was a superstar, even massive had, superstar. He had he had retired, and OJ was a household yeah. name. OJ retired Everybody. in what nineteen seventy nine, I think. Probably. So I was two Something years like old. That. Yeah, yeah. OJ yeah. was bit time, man, and he was great in Naked Gun. Oh my God, he was he was a good actor. Yeah, he was. He, was. he yeah. was. But people judged him by that one night. They didn't look at his whole life. I mean, think of this. How many people actually know Rasheed Rice is a household name? Not many. Mm -mm. They know him by this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Rasheed Rice's attorney targets media amid fallout from high speed wreck. The lawyer representing uh, Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice is demanding the media cover his client's whole body of work instead of focusing on his involvement in a high speed street race. I uh, read that resulted in multiple injuries in Dallas last weekend. Last Saturday, a vehicle registered to Rice was involved in an accident in which two sports cars that are racing on a Dallas street collided, resulting in multiple injuries and multiple cars. And uh, we already saw the uh, the video. We don't, we don't need to watch it again. Uh, there is also allegedly video of Rice and his friends leaving a scene of the accident. That's not allegedly. I mean, we saw it. I mean, it's right there. No need to play it. But um, on Thursday, the same day in which he admitted that Rice uh, was the driver of the Lamborghini, a fact uh, Rice himself did not acknowledge in his Wednesday statement, Rice's attorney, Royce West, challenged the media to shift their focus from his client's actions last weekend and instead focus on his, quote, body of work. What body of work are we talking about? Nah. This has nothing no. to do with football. Nothing. Quote, nothing. why don't you do a story of who he is as opposed to what occurred? Wes asked, because it seems as though what you're saying is based on this one incident. You're going to define him based on this incident as opposed to his entire body of work. I would say each and every one of you, if all of us had to be defined by one incident, that would be ridiculous as opposed to our entire body. So I'd ask you, ask that you as the media look at as in, look at his entire body of work before saying exactly who he is. That would be better. Wow. Not a chance, homie. I don't know what his no. body of work is. He has no body of work. No. He was I mean, a, a rookie receiver that won a Super Bowl, has everything in the palm of it, has life in the palm of his hand. And then made an incredibly yeah. stupid decision. Yeah. And he it was a decision to do what he did, and he did it. Right. I mean, he's not even a thousand yard receiver. I believe he caught nine, nine, nine something yeah, like something that. like that. Yeah. Average. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, his body work, and we, we know those Chiefs receivers couldn't catch the ball in the regular season. So if you want to judge him by his full body of work, I mean, he doesn't have much of a body of work. Yeah, I mean, I mean, let's be real. If Stephon Diggs got traded to the Chiefs, Rasheed Rice is the number two receiver on that team immediately. <laughs> immediately. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, they're, they're, they had no receivers. That's why he was WR1 by default, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, that's ridiculous. Come on, you've got, you've got nobody at work, and your guy did something bad, and this was bad. It, it, it certainly looks terrible. Now, look. There's been plenty of sports stars that's done bad things that have been able to change the narrative on how their career eventually and how they are looked at. Yeah. Michael Vick turned turned his life around. You know, some could argue Big 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 Ben Roethlisberger yeah. had had was a, allegedly did some things and then he completely changed things around, but he's just starting. 
Yeah, this is what he's got. This is what he's wearing. Yeah. This is the badge. And this that is he's a got. really, really bad look for him. It's a terrible look. Yeah. I mean, especially you know what? Maybe it wouldn't wouldn't have been as bad if he didn't leave the scene. But he left the scene. People were injured and he's just like, how oh, the hell with these people? I'm out. I would say after Henry Ruggs, it's incredibly bad. Yeah. I mean, you you saw it play out right in front of your face. One of the now, most the high, only, highly touted Alabama football players ever. Now, Career I can gone. say this here. The only reason Henry Ruggs probably didn't leave is because he was way, way, way too intoxicated to go anywhere. Well, that Corvette was screwed. He couldn't have drove. True. I mean, guess he could walk he, off. Well, he was pretty think, banged he, up. He was, he was he banged up, too. Yeah. He was banged up. He was definitely banged up, man. Man. Yeah. I'm judging um, Rasheed Rice by this. The man is not a household name. He is now in the NFL for the wrong reasons. That's right. So he did it to he, himself. He, he's officially known for this more than being a Super Bowl winning wide receiver, yeah. if that tells you anything. Yeah. In and a even, Super Bowl that just happened. <laughs> and even if this didn't happen, how many people actually know Rasheed Rice? I mean, I knew who he was because I covered the NFL, but that's it. Yeah, but, but he, he's, not a, he's not a bit time player. He was good. He's pretty good. Quote, pretty good wide receiver. Decent. Yeah. Decent. Well, nine, 900 yards is, I mean, yeah. 700 he, he, would be average, so he's yeah, pretty he ain't, good. He, but he ain't C.D. Lamb good. or Megatron or oh, something no. like that. He, nah. uh, no. Uh, no, nah, he ain't he's, that. He's, he's, like I said, you put in A.J. Brown, he's W.R. too immediately. Yeah. You know? Like, for example, man, remember T.O. 1998. Nobody really knew who T.O. was. What happened? Owens, Owens, Owens. Steve Young passes to T.O. in the end zone. Against Green Bay. Well, he the, wasn't even T.O. The, the he, catch. Was Ter- he was Terrell yeah. Owens then. Mm-hmm. Then he became T.O. from that. Yep, yep. That was a fantastic catch, man, and, and yep. pass. I that's what people know him for. is what it yeah. was called. Yeah. yeah. And that was that's when T.O. was born right there from that one incident. On the football field, though. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.